Shout out to Move Shoot Move for sending me their Tridapter. This is a phone adapter for your telescope, or it looks like people are using them for binoculars, bird watching, stuff like that. It looks like even scopes. So, pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to just show you what comes in the box. It's pretty simple. Got directions, but really, we don't need those. And so it comes in a nice little, nice little bag. Feels like good quality if you just want to store it without it getting all dinged up or anything. So in the bag, you have, of course, the product. And then it they also give you, looks like here, a little camera button so you can connect that to your phone or whatever you're hooking up. I usually use the uh, talk method with the phone or I just set it on a timer. So anyways, here's the product. It's actually pretty well built. The purpose of this is uh, you're going to equip this onto your eyepiece and they made this a little bit bigger so you can actually put it on a two inch eyepiece as well. And you put your phone here and you basically line it up. It's pretty self-explanatory and it's pretty compatible too. I know Celestron makes one, but it's way bulkier. And actually I, I bought it, but I've used it like once. And I remember the issue that I was having with theirs was there, it was so bulky. It was like hitting my power button on my uh, phone. So this one's gonna be uh, pretty cool to try out. It's pretty basic, pretty slim, but really it's all you need and the build quality with the metal, uh, pretty nice and there's, there's really no play. So they, they did a excellent job in doing all the gears here. Um, so specific scenarios, you can use this with telescope, bird watching, Stuff like that. It's basically just making your scope into a digital scope just using your phone. So you don't need any fancy cameras or anything like that. So pretty practical. So yeah, in this video, we'll be going over like the ease of use of this, the versatility, and some unique features. So yeah, what I would have liked them to do, but I don't know how they would have done it, was if they could have put some sort of fitting or like a female part where you can attach this onto like a tripod, so then it can act as also just a regular phone holder. I don't know, I thought that would be cool, especially also if you had the binocular or something small to hook on here, so that, that would have been cool, but I'm not sure where they would put that, um, so. I don't know uh maybe you guys could comment below on what you think about that but yeah maybe something uh, maybe something over here i don't know you could get pretty creative that's pretty much it and uh let's looks like they're actually making a lot more products and i like the style that they're going it's it's pretty basic but it's good quality build and it's really they're just trying to get down to the essentials Oh, I bought one of these. This is nice that they have the glow in the dark right here. I bought this for my star tracker. And uh, yeah, it's, wow, they got that for 15 bucks. God, yeah, I think I spent 40 bucks on mine. But yeah, see, so they, got, they got some nice, nice products that they're doing here. I'm actually interested to see the payload on this Nomad. 200 bucks, better be a good star tracker. So it looks like they got some extra fittings. Got a headlamp, that three-way geared. So yeah, pretty basic website. Um, they sent me a affiliate link, so I will put that below. Would like to help me out. And if you are interested in this product, but other than that, yeah. I, I really like the build quality. It's simple and the portability is, is there, so. We're gonna go test this out in the field and we'll go from there. Okay, moon's starting to come out. See it right there. 
and we're gonna set up the tridapter. So, okay. Since we're gonna be getting the moon from my balcony, I can't see the North Star. So I just kind of look for it up there. You probably can't see it on the mic. And uh, probably can't see it on the GoPro. But anyways, what I do is I just kind of line it up with my hand because you really don't have to be on point with this. Especially we're going to the moon at this focal length. You should be good. So, also what I do here is I set that. Sorry about that, the light died. There we go. Got a better one now. Back to what I was talking about. Okay, so I'll set it to lunar after I basically just do like a hard, you know, polar alignment okay see so they made this a lot bigger because you can actually fit it on a two inch eyepiece I'm actually gonna use this telescope setup for testing it out instead of my big one just so it's something more humble and um, more average I would say so that way an average person if they would pick something like this up then they could kind of see what image they could get but it's pretty basic on how it goes on some tricks from testing this out i would say don't have it too far low and also the what <laughs> really i had a horrible time with when i was first testing all this i see all the new phones there's a bunch of different cameras, okay? And so what I learned from testing it out was just going into my camera settings and changing it to manual instead of auto. Because my phone, whenever it was close up to the lens, it would try to autofocus and jump to a different camera. And when it jumped, it would jump over so it wasn't aligned in there. So you might find that useful. Whatever phone you have, go ahead and put on some manual mode. Also, the other thing, because I was out here for like 30 minutes trying to really get it dialed in. And what I realized was you don't want the phone actually super close. You actually want distance away you know, so that, I was playing around with it for like a half hour. So just remember to keep it a little further away. Okay. And then also you're gonna wanna, of course, point your telescope wherever your target is. So, let's do this. Okay. Look at that, ooh. You can already see it. Okay. So once you get it in your sight and you focus it, then basically just tighten up your phone, watch out for your power buttons or camera buttons or anything. And what you're gonna do, see I already had this set up and it's beautiful once you already kinda get it, especially to your eyepiece and everything because then it's nice, but yeah, that main tip, I'm telling you, just keep it further away, because after you get it further away, you just see it so much easier, and you can use all these accesses to locate it, and then you're going to wanna, if you need to, turn down your brightness a little, you can also go to your focus and just kind of adjust and see, since you're on that camera, the manual focus, you can go ahead and zoom in. See, and look at that already. I mean, that's nice for a setup like this. 
Okay, so go ahead and adjust. Right there. Change that brightness again. I don't know what happened there. There we go. Ooh, yeah, look at that. And then also, depending on your setup, go ahead and just kind of even adjust your focus knob because it might just line up a, a little bit better with your phone optics. But look at that. And you know what you can do? Also, another little tip here. Go into your settings. Put a timer on. Because once you touch your camera, it kind of, see, like that, gives you a little shake. So let's let everything stabilize. I'm on my balcony, so sorry this looks a little shaky. So you put it on that timer, hold your breath, boom, look at that. We'll take a couple of these. That's good. And yeah, you could play around with your settings, you know, do. So the settings that you kind of want to play around with, you can even try the shadow and stuff, but some of the editing stuff I'll, I do after I take the picture, but just whatever floats your boat. And yeah, you can do the shutter speed, the ISO, all that, but man, isn't that, that's a nice image for just a pretty basic, look at that. Fun fact. The shadow edge on all those craters, it's actually called the Terminator. I always thought that was funny. Look at that, see this is cool. You know, and the cool thing about hooking up your phone here is you turn any, <clears throat> any scope into a digital scope, especially if you have trouble seeing and all that. And you can take your pictures, show your friends, show your family annoy people with it <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much that you know I'm at first I was a little skeptical about this product you know because uh, it seems just so basic but really I I like the way move shoot move is doing their products they're just sticking to the basics sticking to what you need and it also lightens it up I actually have the Celestron um, the uh, phone adapter and I thought it was cool because it just looked all crazy big and bulky but really it, it started hitting my buttons and all that um, yeah that's you know so really I, I like the way that they're just sticking to the basics in my personal opinion great build quality as well definitely recommend it okay that pretty much wraps it up uh, just a uh, Refresher for my tips is keep it a little further away from your eyepiece. Uh, remember to keep your settings on manual, not auto. And remember to have fun with it too.